For the next seven days, I'm going to be living in my Tesla Model 3 and have the car drive itself around the entire country. Yeah, Tesla Autopilot is pretty amazing. First stop, Texas. We're in Atlanta right now, that's pretty far. I've heard you can actually camp inside of a Tesla because of all of its features, so I'm going to live in it for a whole week alone. The car will plan all the charging stops for us so we can just go. At the end, we'll see how much this all costs and how many times we have to stop and charge because just to Texas is seven times and will take 12 hours and 30 minutes. I think we're ready. Oh, you're not going with me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're on the highway. As you can see, we got autopilot doing its thing. Now I have the full self driving. I think that costs like $10,000 now on the car. So I literally do not have to do anything. Even when changing highways here, it'll do everything for me. Basically this whole trip, which is so nice. You can see first stop is Oxford, Alabama. Yeah, the traffic was so bad, the car started taking me on back roads. A lot of people think autopilot doesn't work on main roads, but yeah, look, it'll go through this green light. I've barely had to do anything this whole drive yet, to be honest. Sweet home Alabama. I don't even know what I'm gonna do for like, I don't know, going to the bathroom or even eating. I guess I just have to eat out. You know, one thing this car doesn't have is a shower. But believe it or not, I'm actually planning on showering in the next seven days. I just don't know where. All right, charging the car up right now. This is the wild part though. To almost fill the whole battery, $2. See, I've actually never owned a gas car, but I'm pretty sure it's way more than that. Probably like 30, 40 bucks. Now, depends on what car you have. After 20 minutes of charging, we were back on the road headed to our first major stop. We have a whole week. We can go to the desert, the mountains, the beach, or Alabama. <laughs> Autopilot makes things so much easier. Like if I want to change lanes, just tap that. It's literally doing it for me right now. I don't have to do anything. See that sign? Oh, I can, oh, we can already start to see. Apparently this is the highest point in Alabama. Check this out. Obviously it looks better in person. There's a cat. What's up, dude? Even though that added like an hour to the trip, it was definitely worth it, but we were still nowhere near Texas. I got something to eat at what looked like the world's largest gas station and our next stop was Birmingham. It's about time we play a game. Okay, 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 oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am super tired. Went to, I think, a safe area, hopefully. Hey, time to set up the bed. <laughs> so, a uh, funny story, so funny. It doesn't actually fit, nice. Oh, there is somebody watching me. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, this is not terrible. These are my legs right here, man, my little piggies. So I set the car to camp mode and with absolutely nothing covering the windows, I slept for five hours. Hopefully no one was watching. Good morning. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't completely terrible. I'm comparing to sleeping on tennis courts, right? Here's a better look at the bed stuff, you know, for the daytime. There's a cup. Also, I'm really like sticky, pause. I need a shower, I don't know where. So I used like 15% battery just cooling the car all night. And even after charging it to 96%, we were still cutting it pretty close. Remember, I literally cannot run out of battery. There's no gas can I can just buy at a gas station. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I really hope we do. I don't think I've ever ran my battery that low. This is not good. We made it with a staggering. 6%. See what they mean when they say malls are dead. <laughs> Can you make chickens, please? Mmm, had to do it, I'm not gonna lie. So right across from McDonald's, there's this place called Pilot. Apparently they have showers. We're gonna see. Hey yo, this is the handicap one. <laughs> Interesting. Not gonna lie, this is not bad. It's clean too. You have towels, I assume no one used them. I did not bring any, so I'm gonna have to take that risk. No, I'm not showing you guys be showering. Low key? This is a W. Maybe living in a Tesla isn't so bad. I probably spoke too soon. <laughs> this is only day two. Man, 
I took a nap here, nice and rainy. It was pretty hard to drive without falling asleep, so. I don't know about you guys, but napping while it's raining is perfect. Now we get a rainbow, and we're almost in Texas. Finally in Texas! And as Drake said, all my exes live in Texas like I'm George Strait. Oh man, why did I see that? <laughs> anyway, the plan is to actually drive to Austin, hit the desert, go back up east through the mountains, all the way to the beach. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. Now with a gas car, that's reasonable, but with the way we've been moving with the Tesla, with the charging and all of that, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but we have to. I guess that's part of the challenge too, because that will legitimize if it actually makes sense. To not only live in your Tesla, but just do a massive road trip like that. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Well, this is not good. Stay below 65 miles per hour to reach it. it literally, the speed limit is 70. We might not make it. Like, I might be screwed. It's the middle of the night, too. All right, 107 miles to Waco. I bought one of these from Walmart. Oh, it broke. Nice. Hopefully it should help though. Morning, y'all. See, I can say that we're in Texas now. <laughs> now I want to try something that may be dangerous. Basically, I want to have the car drive while I'm laying back here. <laughs> if I use my phone to control the car from back here, this might actually work. All right, here goes nothing. All right, let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. Yo, it seems to be, oh, we're moving. We're moving, we're moving. Yo, people are like, what is this car doing back in a by itself? We're gonna make it all the way to, that's crazy. All right, it stopped, I stopped it. And with my free coffee I somehow got for literally just owning this car, we were almost in Austin. Hey, yo, this man's got a whole barn, what the? <laughs> So far, autopilot has been really good. And these like, I guess, you know, 100, 150 mile mini trips, I usually only have to take over like once or twice. That's to usually just like do something more aggressive. And it makes driving all day like not bad at all. Now I didn't know anybody in, you know, like Alabama, Mississippi, but I do know somebody in Austin. We're gonna have to link up with him. Looks like I won't be alone this whole trip. Afro Piggy! Yo, what's up, dude? Mr. E-Boy himself. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of I need to become an e -boy. Have I been technically homeless for the past few days? I am so hungry! We need some Texas barbecue. Mmm. Bro, this is good. fire. Hey, freaking yo, where are we? Bro, where did you take me? What do you mean, you're the one driving. We are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this was a disaster. We couldn't go any further because they decided to close at 5 p.m. Attempt number one at the desert failed. Oh, where are you taking me? I haven't got any exercise on this trip, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. And maybe not making it all the way to the desert was worth it. Who knows? This reminds me of LA. Got all the houses up on the hills, you know what I'm saying? After a quick shower, I charged up again and eventually made it to Dallas. We were running into a massive problem though. I was falling way behind on driving. All right, let's see how I sleep. Good morning! I think that lady heard me. Um, yeah, didn't sleep the best, probably like less than six hours. If I was one inch taller, I swear that bed would be too short for me. By the way, I'm uh, six feet, six one on a good day for all, all you guys wondering. My car's all the way over there right now. I'm gonna use smart summon so it drives itself over here. Now, keep in mind, last time I did this, came about this close to hitting a pole. Go to target, gotta hold it down. Oh, 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 here, here it goes. I'm trying to hold the camp. Focus! Oh my God! There it's going. It's coming. Oh, there, there is a man right there. Going over the speed bump. All right, that's close enough. She's so dirty. So far, we've driven 1,230 miles. Doesn't even seem like that. Since it's been driving itself the whole time. Thank you. Hmm, that's pretty good. Yo, this whole time I've been driving, my sunglasses are right there. working in the city too, I'm not gonna lie. The traffic light update is clutch. Oh, that, nope. I'm never straight to fall from 
We're heading back east. This is attempt number two at going to the desert. We might have ran into another problem though, just because I'm driving an electric car. So we are here right now. Next supercharger's here, desert's there. That is pretty far, and it says we'll get there with 16%. Remember, we're pretty much going to the middle of nowhere. So if there are no superchargers within range of that place in Oklahoma, we're screwed. We can't go there. Hey, there's a lot of upsides, like I can you know, vlog and drive, and I don't have to do anything, but if that's the case, that's definitely a huge downside, not gonna lie. Also, I forgot to mention, I actually didn't have to pay for supercharging at all up until now since I used someone's referral code. So if you're looking to buy a Tesla and you want to use mine, link is in the description. Well, bad news. The closest supercharger to that one place in Oklahoma is Little Rock, Arkansas. The car wouldn't be able to make it. By the end of the trip, I want to see how much we actually spent on charging food, just miscellaneous stuff, technically showers, and also how much we would save by driving in a Tesla and also, I guess, not even staying at a hotel every night. We were in Arkansas. I'm not glad I missed the sign again. It's been a while since we've been to a new state though. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I need right now. Hooters in Arkansas, man. I've never actually ate at Hooters. Hey, they don't have this in Atlanta. I've heard good things. Also, I don't want to sit down in a restaurant alone. I feel like it's a little bit depressing. Hey, yo. Uh, did I just go back in time? Bro, this Kroger looks like it's from 1980. I guess that's uh, Arkansas for you. I have never seen something like this in my life. This is worse than like a year ago or wherever, like when the illness first hit and everybody was panicking, like look at this. You know what, screw it. Going back here. What is this? What the? This is where they load the produce, I guess. Got the old lounge in here, you know what I'm saying? Look at me out here dodging traffic. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Hey, this is why I really let autopilot just do its thing though. Tennessee! I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to do it. Are you from Tennessee? Yeah. You're the only 10 I see. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'm at another hotel parking lot. Honestly, when I go to these cities, I just look up richest areas. Hopefully I'm right. I know Memphis has some uh, pretty bad areas. To be honest, I'm really worn down. See you guys in the morning. Yes, we made it. This massive pyramid right here is a Bass Pro Shop. I've never even been to a Bass Pro Shop. I'm gonna be honest. I saw this on TikTok. I just had to go, you know what I mean? Yo, why is this so massive? What the? Man, they got all the hunting gear here. <laughs> oh, there's actual fish in here. Hey, should I drive like this? Man, feels good to be clean. Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know why I said it like that. Hey, first thing I need is some classic Nashville hot chicken, yes. Wow, definitely hot. To make it to Charlotte tonight, yeah, that's our ETA. Hey, yo, this is not the real Parthenon, is it? I guess the perks of stopping all these superchargers is you get to drive through cities. Even if you're not there for long, you get to experience some of it, right? Bro. How is that even possible? This is not looking good. I don't know if we're gonna make it. And if we're being honest, if I didn't have to charge, we would make it, right? Radio Los Santos, it is going down, man. We're keeping the sounds of the streets. Yep, this is what it's really gotten to. Okay, you can't lie, it's kind of fire. And I've driven for like, I don't know, 10, 11 hours so far today. Ugh. Well, hey. Yeah, we're only in Asheville. I am so tired. By the time we got to Charlotte and I charged the car and found a place to sleep, it would have been like 4.30 a.m. Oh, there is a white van pulling up. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is probably the most sketch place I parked. It's like the back of a hotel parking lot. All the fronts are taken. There's like an abandoned truck and trailer. And Is that a basketball hoop? Since we were seriously behind on making it to the beach, I woke up the next morning 100% focused on driving. Charlotte, here we come.
South Carolina. Yeah, I missed the sign again. I don't even think there was a sign, but this is our ninth state of the trip. alone except for like the third day in Austin literally this whole trip hey at least I never got pulled over though not that there would be any reason to but I've actually never got pulled over like ever ah! finally oh it is so windy let's go Myrtle Beach yeah probably shouldn't fly the drone here day seven made it all the way to Greenville last night literally slept right there i guess i slept decent it wasn't raining i had a nice campfire going you know what i'm saying so was living in a tesla for a seven day road trip worth it you know how much did i spend or save this whole trip once we get back to atlanta is going to be 2972 miles i'd say 97 percent of that was on autopilot over 50 hours of driving 34 supercharging stops i don't think i have to stop again so i spent 114 dollars and 93 cents on supercharging and compared to a typical gas car or hybrid that's pretty good now to be fair i did use some of the free supercharging which you by the way can get to with the referral link without that it would have been closer to 175 dollars which is still really good where we really saved money though was hotels okay let's assume i showered every day but even with 13 dollars a shower we still saved over 500 dollars sleeping in this car